Sharia normally being uh, portrayed as something harsh, something uh, really celebrates punishing people and whatnot. This is the misunderstanding that ha that being uh, portrayed by some medias. So today I'm going to explain uh, briefly what is Sharia, the essence of it. Assalamualaikum, hi, how are you guys? My name is Azlan Shah Nabis Khan. I'm from Arba Foundation. I earned my degree, my bachelor's in Sharia, Economy and Islamic Finance from Yarmouk University, Jordan. And then I worked in an Islamic bank as a Sharia officer. And then I did my master's in Islamic studies, specializing on uh, the legal implications of conversion to Islam in UK and Islam. Welcome to Good Tidings uh, channel. We receive questions from our fellow viewers and friends, both Muslims and of, uh, people of other faith. Today we are being asked about Sharia. What is Sharia? Sharia normally being uh, portrayed as something harsh, something uh, really celebrates punishing people and whatnot. This is the misunderstanding that, ha that being uh, portrayed by some medias. So today I'm going to explain uh, briefly what is Sharia, the essence of it. First, Sharia literally means a path, a path to God. Every human being on this earth is actually finding a path to satisfaction and fulfillment. So path of Allah is what called Sharia. Sharia is based on two primary sources. Quran is the words of Allah revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, through the angel Jibreel in the span of 23 years. It, it, was, it went through a gradual process and it is preserved until the day of judgment. So whenever you walk into any stores, you buy a copy of Quran, every single word and letters there in the Quran is exactly similar to what has been revealed 1,400 years ago. The second primary source is the Sunnah. Sunnah is the act, the words, and also the tacit approvals of the Prophet Muhammad. Generally speaking, Prophet Muhammad through his sunnah, explains and details out all the instruction that is being mentioned in the Quran. So this is the two primary sources of Sharia. So Sharia actually, actually creates a framework, a lifestyle, a legal system that guides human being through the path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If I can break down Sharia into three basic foundations, it would be faith, aqidah, the creed, the belief system, the faith in God. Second is fiqh. Fiqh means the practices, the understanding of the sharia. So fiqh involves your relationship with God and also your relationship with other creatures, human beings, plants, animals. And includes in that is uh, criminal law, marital uh, issues, uh, commercial law, Islamic banking, Islamic finance. So when we talk about cutting of hands and all those graphic uh, portrayal of Sharia, it's a very minute, small aspect of uh, Sharia as a whole, whereby it has many uh, qualifications and, and contextualization uh, and discussion among scholars on how it be applied. And the final part, faith, fiqh, and also akhlaq, ethics, behavior. With these three foundational basis, someone when he becomes a Muslim, he declares his faith which falls under the creed of Aqidah, what he believes in and then he practices his religion which under, falls under fiqh and he became someone of good character which is the result of being Muslim. So that is Sharia and in daily lives, in Malaysian context for example, all Malaysian citizens are governed by the federal constitution as the highest law. When it comes to the personal law or the family law, Muslims and people of other faith, non-Muslims, are divided. For Muslims, they have Islamic family law which differs according to the states they reside in. So they have their matrimonial uh, uh, issues, they have matrimonial law, divorce, uh, inheritance and whatnot. Same goes to the non-Muslims, they are governed by the civil law, even some like the Hindus community, they have their customary law, which is also part of the legal system. 
So that's how Malaysian uh, basically practice their religion they, and they embrace the, the law according to the area of specialization. So that's how pretty much. So when you understand Sharia, you will know. You will come to a realization that everything that is being instructed, being permissible is good for human being and whatever is being prohibited that, that, that God instructs you to leave, not to come close to, is everything that is harmful towards human being. So with that paradigm, you will see Sharia as the only path that leads you to the salvation and to the uh, happiness in this life and the next one. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.